Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about some of my favorite, uh, like my newer favorite beauty brands as well as newer products from brands that I maybe not have mentioned yet in, you know, favorites videos or tutorials to you guys. So just a way to share some new brands and some new products that I'm really loving. Um, so before we get into it, I would love if you guys would subscribe just so you can stay updated whenever I upload my next video for you. Uh, and I would love if you guys would come follow me on Instagram as well. Now, today's video is uh, sponsored. <laughs> it's sponsored by Origins, which is a brand that I already really love. You guys have seen me talk about their products before, but they just launched this new product, which I'm very excited to share with you. It is a moisturizer. So this is the Origins Clear Improvement Pore Clearing Moisturizer. This is formulated with 1% salicylic acid, and it also has a bamboo charcoal in it. And what that's gonna do is, those two ingredients are going to really help with um, clearing up existing brands breakouts but also preventing new breakouts from forming so it's really nice because it's an active moisturizer that you can use on your skin to treat any you know blemishes or blackheads or any type of you know congestion and clogged pores that you have going on in your skin um, you can actually wear it as a moisturizer and it's just going to help prevent new ones from forming while also treating the ones that you have on your face already um, and I also really like it because it is moisturizing I was a little bit worried about it. I thought it was going to be drying on my skin type but it's actually very moisturizing and it's a really nice comfortable wear the moisturizer retails for $34 it's available at origins.com as well as Ulta and I will have a link in the description box that you guys can shop from as well as a promo code for you guys so all that information will be in the description box down below I am obsessed with this hand cream it is the Aesop resurrection hand balm I like completely use this one up it took me about six months to go through this one and I was constantly you know taking it from my purse to my car to my nightstand um, and I just I absolutely fell in love with this hand cream so I'm a little bit crazy but I really think you guys will like this stuff because it it really makes your cuticles look not you know chapped and dry and it just makes your hands look a lot more nice and it just accentuates a manicure because your skin looks really great on your hands so I got two more bottles of the resurrection hand balm because i'm obsessed with it that much and then i also got the other one which is the reverence aromatic hand balm so i have one for my purse one for my car and one for my nightstand because i truly believe in this Aesop hand cream, I think that this is gonna be um, what I give as a gift this Christmas to like friends and family because I want everyone to be as obsessed with this hand cream as I am. I mean, it lasted me like six months, so you'd probably only go through two of these a year, but I just wanna have one in all the different sections so that I never have to be without it because I'm telling you, I never thought that a hand cream could change my life, but I'm actually obsessed with this hand cream because it's so good. All right, so Kosas is another brand that I'm really into right now. I have mentioned the tinted face oil in a previous video to you guys. I just love this stuff so much. It has so much pigment for being like a tinted face oil, and it's very buildable. Um, you can wear it anywhere from like super sheer to, I don't wanna say medium coverage, because I think it's gonna depend on the person, but I actually think that this is like a more user-friendly and more pigmented, I guess desirable version of something that's in the same genre as the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. I actually think I really like this better. There's also more shades of this one. Um, so you can kind of, whereas like the Glossier one, you know, it's more about just creating a light veil over your skin, whereas with this one, I think it just gives you a little bit more coverage. So I'm a big fan of the tinted face oil. Um, I also really like the Kosas lipsticks. I think they're really amazing, super creamy. Um, they're just like really beautiful, uh, you know, sheeny, creamy looking lipsticks. So I've really been into those. Um, and you guys know me, <laughs> when I wear a lipstick, I don't like to wear it super full on. I like it more of like a blotted, lip moment to where it doesn't look like it's you know too full on and too intense i'm also a big fan of the kosa sport tinted lip balm this one is in the shade pulse which is a really wearable you know just kind of like a soft very tinted lip balm i also just like really like how it's just the faintest bit minty it's nothing too intense so i love that tinted lip balm and then i also really like this little blush highlight duo. This is in 
papaya 1972 so you get that gorgeous you know papaya apricot shade of blush and then a really really nice subtle sheen of a highlight now it is a powder but it's just the perfect like light glow onto your skin to where it's nothing offensive or too metallic. Next brand I really wanted to talk about is Beauty Counter. So this is another clean beauty brand that I've been thoroughly impressed with. I'm really loving the clean beauty space right now because I feel like I'm just trying so many amazing clean beauty brands and I'm really impressed with the quality. So the first thing that I really like is the Dew Skin. Now this is a tinted facial sunscreen with, which obviously is just gonna leave you with a really nice dewy base. Um, I think some people might not love this one because it is more of like a true, you know, wet, dewy looking skin, which I love, but just a forewarning, if you're not super into dewy looks, this is a really intensely dewy primer. Um, it's actually a sunscreen, but I use it as a primer or wear it on its own. I love the Tint Skin Hydrating Foundation. I mix two shades together to create my perfect shade and then depending on my skin tone, I'll wear either or. So I always mix the shades Honey and Golden and I just love the way that this looks like skin. It's very, very customizable coverage. You can really build it up to full flawlessness. It just, it looks so beautiful and I actually feel really good about it because you know, if you're wearing something every day, you might want to be wearing something a little bit more clean. So I like that I have clean foundation options in my collection. Um, I am also a big, big fan of their bronzer. It's a powder bronzer. Uh, this one is in the shade Surf. It's actually the bronzer that I'm wearing today. It's just nice, light bronzage moment. Very finely milled, never gonna look muddy or chalky on your skin. Um, you guys have seen this blush in tutorials really nice this is the shade nectar so their powder products are also really great as well this is a beautiful highlight in topaz which is you know kind of like a light bronzy champagne i don't apply it with a brush i just swirl my finger into the center like this and then i'll just kind of like apply it with my fingers i don't know that's just how i like to apply it and then i did a whole tutorial surrounding this palette i'm very very impressed with the quality of the eyeshadows i love brown palettes, obviously you know that, but but I really like how it came with the shade Penny, which is just an intense glitter. So very, very impressed with Beauty Counter. I like their powder cosmetics as well. Lots of pigment, very good quality, finely milled. Um, but I think definitely the standout products from Beauty Counter for me are gonna be the Tint Skin Foundation and then the Dew Skin SPF. Nude Sticks. So Nude Sticks is not a new brand, but I also think it's a brand that's just really starting to get a little bit more popular. And I'm actually really excited because I love the brand. I love following them on social because they're a little bit more human and um, it's not just all models. It's a lot of the, um, you know, Taylor, her mom, and her sister Allie, so it's like them kind of running the brand socials, and I just think it's a little bit more personable. Um, and I've actually been using Nude Sticks since I think 2014 or 2015, and when I was getting ready to film this video, I had stuff in my, you know, Nude Sticks collection area that was so old that I, the packaging was a little bit different, and um, I don't even know if they made those products anymore. They, I had to throw them away before I filmed this, but um, if you're new to nude sticks, I definitely think you cannot go wrong with the nudies all over face colors. I love these. I've used them in so many videos. These are my favorites. Deep Maple A, Bondi Bay, um, Sweet Peach Peony, and Sunkissed. And then their nudies highlights are also really great. This one's in Hey Honey. I just, I love these sticks because you can use them on eyes, face, and lips. So you can really do whatever you want with them. And I also thought that this was a really unique product from them. This is the skin glossing pencil, which you can use to highlight your skin. You can use it on your lips, your eyes. Again, that's really just the great thing about nude sticks. You can really use them wherever you want. Um, this is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Nude Eye Glimmers, which again, I use on my eyes, but I often find myself using it on my skin as well because they set, set down and stay put. Um, I love their lip glosses. I use the shade Nude 06. I think it's like the perfect nude for my skin tone. Um, and then their lip and cheek pencils are also amazing because you can use them on your eyes too if you want or your cheeks or your lips. Um, I just really love the multifunctional quality of the brand and I just, I like the vibe because it's very natural, it's very effortless, very like girl on the go and I love the packaging and I just, I love nude sticks so if you guys haven't checked them out, I would definitely recommend 
checking out um, some of these products in these shades, especially if you're similar in skin tone to me. The last brand I wanted to mention is Wander Beauty, and I actually don't see a ton of people talking about Wander Beauty, which makes me kind of sad because I really love Wander. Um, you guys know their Mile High Club mascara. I've talked about that so much, and I really like it because it's not a waterproof mascara, but it holds my straight lashes curled all day, and it's so much easier to take off at the end of the day than something that is waterproof. But also, one of my absolute favorite products from them is their Catch the Light Highlighter and Glotion. This is in the shade Celestial. It's almost gone. I've used this so much. I really like the liquid illuminator in the tube and then on one end again practically gone. It's usually you know quite a good amount of cream highlight that you can just use on your skin. Love that. Um, I'm also a really big fan of their Nude Illusion liquid foundation. I thought that this stuff is really nice because it's got a lot of coverage, but it's super lightweight, um, and it doesn't feel drying on your skin, and I like the packaging because it's that nice doe foot that you can just stripe over your skin, and because it's in this squeezy tube, I feel like you'll be able to really squeeze all the last bits of makeup out. Now this is new, this is their Hidden Glow Brightening Cream, which I really have been liking using as a base for makeup, and it just creates a really pretty, hopefully you guys will see, dewy, sheer golden, you know, just kind of like that healthy looking skin. So hopefully you guys can see that's on the back of my hand. It's just, it smells good too. It smells, it smells very fresh and fruity. Mm, I love it, but yeah, it's just a really nice base to put underneath your tinted moisturizer or your foundation just to give you a little bit more hydration and just, you know, give you that little radiant luminous glow. Because I genuinely made the effort to make my 2019 resolution to wear facial sunscreen every single day, so I have been, um, and I really have been liking the glow stick this summer. This is SPF 50. I love it. I can keep it in my purse. I can bring it around with me and do touch-ups easier than if it were, you know, like a liquid sunscreen. So I love the glow stick. And they also have little SPF cream eyeshadows, which I have had in a favorites video that I showed you guys how I use these. And I just really like these. I will throw this on my eyelid. Even if I'm not planning on wearing eyeshadow for the day, I will still put just a little bit of this onto my eyelids, all the way from my eyelids, you know, up to my brow bone. And it just gives you a little bit of shimmer but it also gives you an SPF 30 on your eyelid. So I like that they made eyeshadows that have SPF built into them. I thought that was really smart and really innovative. All right, you guys, so that is everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. I will be doing a part two just so this video is not as long. I still have a bunch of products in front of me that I wanna speak about in another video. I just don't want this video to be, you know, half an hour long. So if you have any questions regarding any of these products or brands, please feel free to hit me up in the comments down below. Don't forget to check the description box for information and links and all of that stuff. And um, I think that's everything I wanted to hit. Please subscribe. Please come follow me on Instagram as well if you didn't earlier. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye, guys.